Aries, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I hope you also become a part of our Shacey spiritual family. Hit the subscribe button, it's free to do so. Hit the notification bell if you wish to be notified of further uh, readings after you hear this reading. I hope it resonates for you. So remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It is a general read. So some things may resonate for you now. Some things may resonate for you in the future. Some things may resonate from whoever it is you're dealing with. It may resonate from their perspective. It does depend on who's watching. We get cross watchers here as well, checking their other placements or checking on other uh, signs. So let's see what's going on. We're going to do pick a card. With the energy oracle, you are meant to hear three, all three messages, but your first one is going to be your strongest message, your second, your second, and your third, your third, okay? Let's see what's going on. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Stay and watch till the end because I'm also going to get your energy here, mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with on our Shacy Prism Tarot. That's available at Shacy.com. And your person's energy on the other deck, it can go vice versa, be a combination of both your energies. All of yours are all of theirs. And then I'm going to get your overall energy using my vintage Zolar deck. These are from the 1960s and the 1970s. So you can imagine how much energy is on this deck, right? I have no idea how many hands have touched this deck or how many tarot readings have been done on them besides mine. So let's see what's going on. All right, first message, ooh, door to value. So some of you may be headed to the door to value. You may be coming into perhaps value when it comes to your career, your work life here. It can be, uh, you know, um, something that you're putting a lot of effort into, brings you back a lot of value, a lot of um, return on whatever investments you've made here, mm -hmm. whatever effort you've put in. Very nice, okay. Strategy, so some of you may be, really, this does not surprise me for you, Aries. You've been strategizing here on how to make the most of your money, your investments, your time, uh, whether that's a relationship, your career, finances, your goals here. I feel like you're really strategizing. Awesome. <laughs> you're ready to take the action. Okay, so I feel like you're really recognizing your value or again, going after something here and really ready to take the action here opening up your whole world of possibilities. This is fantastic. Aries, way to go. I like it. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Door to value can mean many things. It can be relationship, it can be family, it can be investments, uh, it can be work, it can be going back to college, school, going after your goals, period. Going after your goals, taking the action, strategizing on how to get the most out of your time, and your efforts. This is really great. What's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2021? I'm focusing on August, the balance of August for you, the new, newest messages for you from Spirit. Okay. I always extend your readings. That link will be down below in the description area as well as the comment section. So if this resonates for you, you may choose to purchase that. That's entirely up to you. Okay. But I will dig a lot deeper. I will focus on the month ahead. I always sneak peek on the month ahead. So I'll be focusing on September. Look, there you are. See, look, I can't make this up. Chariot, manifesting here, going after your future, going after what you feel belongs to you, your rightful path. Wow, good for you. Okay, so I wanted to say, <laughs> before I got so rudely interrupted, I couldn't help it. That was so crystal clear. You're going after what you want, Aries. That's beautiful. Okay, what I wanted to say was, <laughs> If this resonates for you, you may want to check that out. I'm also going to pull the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I'm going to do the Pendulum Bonus. So we will ask Spirit direct questions here. I haven't shown that to you all yet. I haven't done an Aries reading for a while. I apologize. I have been busy with my daughters. Off for the summer, of course, off of school. But I'm going to pull the Pendulum here in the Extended. And I will ask Spirit yes or no questions. Okay. And probably about three or four. I, I, I basically, whatever comes to mind, what I feel I need to ask as we're going through the reading. Okay. Ooh, wish fulfillment. Wow. Aries, you're really going after what you want. Very nice. Nine of cups, please. Nine of cups for Aries. I think we'll just stop this right here. This is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So whatever has been driving you nuts, you're laying it down. You're going after your wish here. You're taking the action. You're strategizing on how to lay down the burdens here of whatever has been driving you crazy. Good for you. Ten of wands. So you have a new start. Something you're going to create something new or you're already working on something new here. It's your wish. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Ten of cups here. So for some of you here, it may be your wish right now to lay down some family issues, maybe something that has been 
uh, a lot of stress for you. Maybe you've had most of the responsibilities in a family situation, and I feel like you're you're getting ready to, to lay that down, whatever that is for you. It can mean many different things. Maybe you've had most of the responsibility money-wise here. Maybe you've been strategizing, again, on how to get out of that and get the most of your time here. Mm-hmm. You're definitely going after what you want here. So let's see here. Ten of Cups for Aries. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, there could be somebody that you're thinking really sweetly about. Could be somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be. But this can also be that you've had a lot of responsibilities when it comes to your children here as well for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this is you're thinking about somebody that you feel you have a very deep soulmate connection to here. Okay. And it's your wish fulfillment to take the action toward that person and lay down whatever has been burdening you. I feel for most of you in a family situation, it can be, you know, your own mother, your father, your brother, your sister. It can be um, that uh, you're laying down the responsibilities of children, like maybe they're leaving home, they're all, you know, leaving the nest, something like that. And you're able to, to finally lay down all those responsibilities because now they're now their adults are responsible. I'm getting that for their own life now, becoming adults. Um, let's keep going. It's going to be different for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Strategy action. Okay. So you're totally strategizing here. Wow. Yeah. You're trying to figure out how to get away from, from this situation here. It's been a lot for you. Yeah. And you're, you're tired of it. You're just, you're ready to go forward. Can be to a queen of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Somebody you feel is very nurturing, loving, kind. This is somebody who's supportive. Somebody who's highly intuitive here. You could be headed towards a water sign for some of you or have a lot of love for somebody or somebody has a lot of love for you let's keep going we're gonna keep going let's get your energy here for aries sun moon rising and venus what are the newest messages for aries sun moon rising and venus you have a soulmate i feel that you're wanting to get to here or they're wanting to get to you what is going on here please angels and spirits for aries sun moon rising and venus for august 2021 what are the newest messages for aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages they need to hear the most? What's going on? What's going on with Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on? Check your other placements too. I have the playlist there if you know your other placements. If you don't, you can absolutely use a free resource called astrosofa.com. Okay. Okay, Page of Swords. That can be about a new contract. That can be about a message of truth here. Uh, somebody checking up on you, you checking up on them. Why is a Page of Swords here for Aries? Why is a Page of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Page of Swords? Libra, that's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Oh, okay. High Priestess. Someone may be checking up on you, keeping it to themselves, trying to trust their intuition. It can be this Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is High Priestess here? High Priestess is a keeper of secrets, somebody who's highly intuitive here. Why is the High Priestess here? Oh my goodness. Oh, we've got Death, Scorpio energy. Somebody's trying to trust their intuition here, maybe see if... A situation has ended where somebody's looking in on a Scorpio trying to see what's going on wondering if there's secrets because we've got here the seven of swords somebody's strategizing checking in checking to see what's going on here but kind of keeping that to themselves here they may have wondered if you have ended the situation between them and you or another situation trying to see what's going on. I feel like somebody's really trying to see what's going on before they take any action towards you or vice versa. Seeing maybe if it's safe to do so. Let's see. We're going to check your person's energy over here. Is there anything hidden that Aries needs to be made aware of? What's going on with this person of interest? How are they feeling towards Aries currently for August? 2021, one of the newest messages that Aries needs to hear regarding their person of interest now and in the near future coming towards them. What is going on with Aries? What do they need to know for their highest good for August 2021? I can't talk today. Somebody could be tongue twisted here. That could be. I know I am. Let's see what's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with their person of interest? What is going on? 
Now we're in the near future. What do they need to know about their person? How do they feel towards them? Is there anything hidden that Aries needs to be made aware of for their highest good? Okay, that's too many cards, but look at that. Communication and ending. Ooh. Okay, look at that. Action. So somebody wants to take the action towards you, Aries. Remember, flip it how you need to. It's going to be different for each one of you. It's a general read. By the way, if you want a personal reading, you can check out shacy.com, especially the reviews there on my fantastic repeat clients. Uh, I'm really proud of those reviews. I thank you also very much who left a review. Uh, this is about taking the action moving forward. Somebody feels like you are their rightful path here, wanting to take the action. It's like I'm ready to go. This can actually be physical movement here. Mm -hmm. It can be relocation. It can be buying a new car, new vehicle, something here. It's, it's like I'm ready to travel. I'm changing direction. I know this is my rightful path. I'm strategizing. I'm going after what I want here. I feel that this is valuable to me, this connection, this soulmate here. And I'm trying to lay down another situation. And I'm really trusting my intuition. But I feel like they're checking up on you to make sure that, you know, uh, there isn't somebody else or, uh, that, you know, wow, I can't make this up, lovers. This is about making a decision about a spiritual partner, a spiritual partnership here. Okay, the lovers, this is a choice, a decision that needs to be made. Somebody feels like you are their rightful path and I feel that they're just checking in on you to see if it's okay to come forward. OMG, there is a definite, definite spiritual bond here. Okay, somebody really feels connected to you, really feels like you are their person. So again, I've got Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio again. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. <laughs> We've got a lot of water energy, so there's a lot of emotions at play here, but somebody's keeping everything to themselves here, strategizing. OMG. Let me know, Aries, if that's you or your person down in the comment section. Let's see what's going on mutually between Aries and the person of interest. I will clarify these in the extended for September. I'll clarify who this Queen of Cups is, Ten of Cups, etc. And I will also clarify the Death card. So something's ending. Somebody's making a decision to end another situation situation lay it down it's been too much of a struggle and go for this queen of cups or um yeah i'm making a decision a choice strategizing trying to make things happen here so is that you aries or is that whoever you are dealing with what are the mutual energies between aries and the person of interest what are the mutual energies how are they mirroring one another when it comes to their connection now or in the near future <laughs> You both want to take this leap. You both want to take this risk, I feel, towards one another. You know, this is the fool card. This is a new beginning. Something's ending, something new beginning. It's like I'm ready to take this new opportunity or opportunities. I've made this choice. I've made the decision, but I want to make sure the coast is clear, I'm hearing. i got to write that down. Sorry. Coast is clear. Um, I want to make sure the coast is clear before I move forward and I take the initiative here and I take this risk. I want to make sure I should still take this risk. Okay. Wow. Let's get another one. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure it's stable. So you both want to take the risk. You both want to make sure that this connection is going to be stable in long term and that it is something worth taking the risk for. If you're going to take all this risk, you're going to lay down other responsibilities. You want to make sure that this is going to be a steady, stable relationship, right? Uh, and I'm not just talking about financially, I'm talking emotionally too. Somebody wants to make sure maybe that you're still available, that you are, uh, don't have somebody else in your life here. Mm -hmm. They feel spiritually guided towards you, you them. Yeah. You know, you need to learn to trust one another maybe. Maybe trust was an issue or you're just trusting this divine path. Um, knowing that it is your rightful path. Look at that. Both doing a ton of thinking here. A ton of thinking is what I'm getting. Let's see who or what might be affecting this connection. Because I feel like somebody's having to keep this quiet for a reason. This, you know, trying to figure out how to come towards you here. Being very careful. Uh, getting away, I feel, from another situation that's been very rough. And it can be family or friends or... Um, another I feel like it's a choice in love maybe you had a choice between more than one person or your person did and it's kind of like you know I have to figure out how to get away from the situation I feel like somebody for whatever reason feels like they can't just go they have to really make plans on the down low this may have been a secret relationship okay for some of you, not all of you. What are the messages, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the newest messages? 
What do they need to know for their highest good? Who or what is affecting their connection, their energy? Addiction. Ouch. Codependent. Obsession. Possession. Controlling. Has. Oh. What? Has a block. Restraint. Okay, here you go. So something has been blocking your person or you from coming together in this soulmate a spiritual connection here. Uh, it can be that they were in a codependent relationship. They had all the responsibility. They're trying to get away from that. They're strategizing. They could be working on their money, their finances, their goals to make things better so that they can come towards you. It is their wish fulfillment. I mean, first message out is the strongest. We have wish fulfillment right here, okay? And their wish fulfillment is to lay down the burdens so that they can come toward their soulmate, their spirits. For some of you, this is a twin flame. For others of you, this is your soulmate, okay? I'm getting both messages here. Either way, it doesn't matter. There is this deep spiritual, unexplainable bond between the two of you. And they may have been in a controlling relationship or an obsessive relationship with somebody that they've been with for many years. It can be family responsibilities. It can be they've been people pleasing or trying to please family, staying in a situation. Either way, it's codependent. It's been restraining them. It's been overwhelming. And they're trying to figure out how to lay that down and come towards you. But I still feel like they're really kind of looking in to make sure that the coast is clear is what I'm hearing. Wow. Let's get, sorry about that. We're going to go ahead. I want to get a couple of Flaming Roses confession. It's from your person. What would Aries person like to say to Aries? Remember, this can be flat, vice versa. What would Aries person like to say to Aries for August 2021? What are the confessions that Aries person would like to say to them if they could? What are the messages? Because I feel like this is somebody that you're dealing with that's keeping pretty quiet here, okay? About an ending, about strategizing on how to get away from this other situation. They're not opening up about it. They're not openly uh, communicating. I see no communication here at all, okay? I feel like they want to come towards you with that chariot there. They're wanting to jump out. I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. So perhaps this person, you know, hasn't been honest with you that either they had an addiction or a codependent relationship or they had too many responsibilities or they didn't feel like they had enough money so they're trying to strategize on how to get enough money here or resources to come towards you here. Whatever, the, whatever it is, it's kind of like they may have kind of been strategizing, like feeding you little lines or uh, playing games and it can be because they were trying to buy time is what I'm getting here. Yeah, it's going to be different for each of you. But this is about, you know, trusting your intuition here. There is an ending coming here and to make way for a new beginning for a very spiritual connection. This is somebody who is very smart, okay, um, in that they have been taking these little tiny baby steps towards taking the ultimate action here. And I feel like it's because they wanted to protect laying down a codependent relationship. They may have been backed into a corner by family. I mean, the Ten of Wands, that comes out when somebody has been, you know, strained to the max. I can't take any more here. I've got to do something about this problem. I've got to overcome this. And this is somebody that um, instead of just wallowing in it, they're deciding to take the action now and figuring a way out. They want to figure a way out. No one else comes close to all the good things you've done for me. So, you know, they may have gone about this in the wrong way is what I'm getting here. Okay. But I feel like, you know, it's because in the end, they didn't want to lose you because you're, you are their wish fulfillment. It's kind of like you are their way out kind of thing. Um, I feel like they've stayed in a situation, family situation or codependent situation, whatever this is. Maybe, maybe they were being controlled in a controlling, abusive race relationship. Hopefully not. But they've been trying to figure out a way out. See, I see you in my dreams wishing it was reality. So they really want to bring this to fruition here. And they're willing to do whatever it takes. See, secretly doing things behind your back. There you go. They've been strategizing. And I don't feel like it's, I mean, I don't want to say it's not in a bad way. They could have been upfront about it. But I feel like maybe... Whoever this is, I'm getting a strong indication this is not going to resonate for all of you, but they're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, because this connection they're in is very obsessive. Their person could be very controlling of them or their family, or they have certain obligations. Maybe it's their religion. It could be any number of things that has stopped them from coming to you, okay? But they're so tired of it. 
Um, I feel like they're almost a workhorse. I don't know why I'm getting that. For some of you, they're just a workhorse in a family situation and they're tired of it. And it can be that, you know, again, maybe their children are leaving the nest for the first time uh, and that's helping free them up some of their obligations. It's going to be different for all of you, but this is pretty intense. But either way, they're wanting to come towards you. They're feeling this very deep connection. It can be actual physical movement here, a move. But they definitely know that there's this bond between the two of you that's not going to go away. Uh, they feel this very deep attraction to you and they want to come towards you here and they want to come towards you quite quickly and they're trying to figure out how and we have here that you know I'm ready to take that action I'm ready to take that leap here mm -hmm. and I feel like they just want you to trust them even though you know you probably felt like they were keeping secrets you may be checking up on them here trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, what is happening? Is there secrets? Is there things I don't know? Trying to trust your intuition here to guide you. You know, has this ended or are we moving on? We're gonna find out, okay? So we're gonna head over into the extended. I'll find out if this is a new beginning coming. I feel like it is. Uh, I feel like your person's trying to figure out how to come towards you here, but let's start digging. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me in a continuation, we're gonna do the pendulum. We're gonna focus on September. I'm going to figure out where we're going here with the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Death, the Two of Cups. We're just going to start digging. I'll pull three more energy oracles for September as well, okay, and get some guidance and advice messages. I'll also pull the Tarot of Sexual Magic, get the intimate messages. And perhaps if I have time, more Flaming Roses confessions or better yet, I think I'll pull the uh, Moon messages for you, okay? So thank you for being here. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and I will... Wish you lots of love and lots of light and try to stay as positive as you can because being negative never gets us anywhere, right? Okay, leave me comments below. Let me know how this resonates for you, if it resonates from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. Thank you, Aries. Namaste.